What's going on everybody? Chris from Flip the World. Yeah, that's right, rocking a new haircut. Don't really like it, but it is what it is. Goodwill bins, we're going inside, finding some stuff. Gonna make another reseller box. You know what the deal is. The intro is just for the newbies. If you're new, make sure you subscribe because that's what we do. We go to bin stores, we find lots of items, then we make reseller boxes. We sell those to other people so they can make money. And then that makes our items that we keep free inventory. Let's get in there. Wow. I can't remember if DKNY sells. We'll go ahead and put it in the bag. Oh, Adidas spell out. Columbia, well, this first bin right in the door. It's gonna be a good reseller box. It's an easy 20. Nice little Lauren Ralph Lauren. Then I just picked up some J. Crew chinos as well. So this first bin has been pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. One of my vintage buddies just brought me a cart, so that was awesome. And then I found this real tree. This is like a field ammo bag. It's like five sold like 27 to 35 and there's only one listed so we're gonna grab this nike on field emmett smith probably the only cowboy other than deon sanders i <laughs> shit about i'm sorry crap about i can see why everybody passed on it but oxy would get that right out so that'll be in the reseller box and then i picked up a pair of michael kors y'all didn't see it on camera but just some michael kors jeans some new nice jeans so far a pretty good day the highlight of my day is my buddy bringing me a cart because that those are like honey buns in here if you know about honey buns Look at this old blue tag 2x it is disgusting and beat it's a shame it's cool to see it's a shame it's so beat. Oh, Calvin Klein jeans right here. That'll work. Look at that. Move the vintage, find some easy money. Lucky brand. Lucky brand, back to back. This is some Astro stuff, but it's not official. You guys think I should tell that lady she laughs like a horse? That would be mean. Boy, you see that George Strait? Amarillo by morning. Yeah, we're gonna get those Wranglers. I'm all pretty happy. I got myself a nice, uh, nice little cart going and I haven't even I haven't even seen Stacy since we got here, so hopefully she brings something to the table too, and we're just crushing it. I mean, what am I saying? We both know she, we all know she's gonna bring something to the table. That's something. Double H. This is a very expensive brand. Let's see if I can find. Oh, well, look at that! How you doing there, buddy? Happened to find these in the same row we found George Strait pants. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, you know how Marcus Dixon's pickings 
Hate seeing Fade of Glory. I don't like this person, this Gloria Vanderbilt. I find her jeans everywhere, and they don't sell for anything. So whoever you are, Gloria, I don't like you. Oh, nice well, little, little tack. Hmm. Looks like it's for a motorcycle, but it's like a generic brand. Also, shout out. Old boy came and handed me some Ariat boots. Got some heel drag, but it's not too bad. They should still sell for like 30 bucks. So, wherever you are in here, thank you. I wanted to add real quick, everybody that comes up to us and says hi or that they follow us or subscribe, I want you to know how appreciative we are of that. It does mean a lot. Uh, so if you do see us and you, you wanna walk up and say hi, do so. We appreciate all of the support. Maybe, you know, give a notice if you're gonna walk up to Stacy because she might catch you with an elbow if a new row came out. But again, thank you guys so much. All right. So this is my best Stacy impersonation. I found these Citizen of Humanity jeans. Never heard of the brand, but figure with a name like that, I'd look it up. I also was told that if I put things on dark mode, you'd be able to see it better. But anyway, these are called Racers. They're 72 listed. They sell for 60 plus shipping, 50 plus shipping, 30 plus shipping, 60 plus shipping, 60, 32 plus shipping, 29, 60. So obviously this is a brand that you need to add to your bolo list. It's called Citizens of Humanity. This is the logo. Anyway, there's 72 sold and there's only 44 listed, so over 100% selfie rate, so awesome. The fact that nobody picked up this vintage Garfield alarm clock is very upsetting to me. Stacy has her own card that I'll go through in a little bit. So, not a bad day. Get off the ass and hit a lick. I mean, that's worse to live by, right? So I didn't film it, but I gave the uh, Billionaire Boys Club to the uh, the vintage kid that gave me my cart. I figure we're even now. That's more his style, and one t-shirt ain't gonna break me, so it's all about building networks. If I can get him to give me a cart to put him in, that's what he's waiting to go. Oh man, this looks like something. Just... the Garfield alarm clock from 1991 40 bucks plus shipping 23 plus shipping 44 plus shipping 28 33 35 47 got 29 sold and six listed so yeah my problem is gonna be making sure that Stacy and or the kids don't steal it she found this sick MF dome it's a reprint but it's still an awesome shirt RIP so probably get about 15 20 for that. Preamp mixer, Stanton. Hmm. I haven't even looked it up, but I know preamps are usually expensive. So check that out. That's pretty awesome. So the Stanton mixer is actually just kind of like a $40 item, but there's only been two solds in the last 90 days. 
So we're gonna go ahead and pass on it. Plus I have no way to test this thing like, at all. Got our first ever pair of nursing mates. These are the Aligns, these are like sneakers. Real good condition. Sold comps are right around 30, 35 bucks. So that's awesome. Got some Wrangler retro jeans. They sell for about, looks like 25 to 35 actually. And there's a 1600 listed and 2200. I'm sorry, 1600 sold, 2200 listed. So that's decent enough to grab it. And they should move within that 25 to 30 range that we try to go for on jeans. Let me grab those dinners. Including this pair of dinner boots that a kid totally slept on so he could pick up some busted Air Max. So, as dealing with Dalton would say, if you know, you know. These La Sportiva rock climbing shoes. You know, we've sold a couple pair of rock climbing shoes. 438 sold, and there's only. 299 listed, so well over 150% sell through rate. So those are going to be good. Also, they say vibrant, so that's awesome. Some just nice mid vans. And then I got two pairs of solid whites that are in great condition. They just need oxy baths. Some Chacos, the John Barbados collab. And then this is actually like a Hasbro build your own lightsaber thing. Uh, still thinking about it it looks like it's missing a lot of pieces but i know that's kind of stuff so nice little champion river sweep wrangler freaking quilt lined nice little north face piece simple plain as you can see our card is full this is a uh, Probably one of the best days we've had. Just place to snag a T84 Plus Silver Edition. I'm gonna look up this Calphron Walk and then this uh, vintage AM FM Realistic Radio Shack. These go for about 25 30 bucks. So I think we're gonna wrap up because our cart is full. See this? Trying to make it to that Sooners guy. Sooners! Today was actually a pretty awesome haul. We got a lot of jeans and for the most part, based off of how we're trying to keep our shoe cleaning to like five minutes or less, even at the bins, we picked some really nice shoes. So let me show you uh, what we're keeping. Oh, that got really bright. You guys see how pale I am? Do I look like that guy Powder? You guys remember that movie? Oh. Let me show you what we're keeping and then I'll show you guys what you're getting. So we're keeping, like I said, we're gonna start keeping the shoes because we're shoe resellers. Plus some of these, you know, need some cleaning and I don't want to send that. Keeping the vintage Garfield alarm clock and the TI-84 plus. And I think we're keeping like seven pair of jeans and then the vintage uh, champion reverse weave crew neck. Cause again, I think Stacy might keep that. Um, and that's my first pair of rock revival I've ever found. But that stuff doesn't matter. Let's get to what does matter. So we got 35 pieces for this reseller box and it is gonna be, as usual, a good mix of clothing. The main, obviously, is gonna be the jeans. You've got Lucky Brand, Levi's. If you guys didn't know, Levi's is the number one selling brand on eBay. Lucky, we got some 511s, we got some, uh, I think these are Michael Kors, some more 505, some Wrangler FRs, again, the, the flame retardant uh jeans usually do pretty well some seven uh capri pants various various brands again we always kind of do the same some rock and republic those from calvin klein's and then we got some polo chinos and some big boy 569 we have three jackets they're all fleece two columbia and then the bottom one is that north face that you saw this is that real tree ammo pouch again this should be about 30 bucks some J. Crew chinos, some Ralph Lauren with belt, uh, not chinos, but whatever those are. 
and then some Nike golf pants. Nice little embroidered swoosh right there. This is that MF Doom t-shirt. I'm gonna throw in that Nike on-field Emmett jersey. And just because I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna go ahead and oxy bath it and get it looking real nice for whoever gets this box. Some Jumpman shorts. If you didn't know, Jumpman shorts do pretty well. And then some, they're not Jumpman, but they are long embroidered uh, Nike basketball shorts. Two nice and lacy, fancy Victoria's Secret bras. This one has like little ribbons on it and some lace. And then, of course, a lace one. Victoria's Secret bras move really fast. And I wanted to add that one of the reasons you probably never see me actually film bras or talking about bras at the bins is because I don't want to look like a creepy perv. So I do find them, but I usually wait till the uh, car or till we're outside of the bins to like hold them up and show them because there's a lot of weirdos out there. Fast. I'm going to throw in a pair of kids, Sacconis. Maybe I'll knock, knock that mud off. Maybe not. And then this is just an awesome youth mickey mouse disney tag boston red Sox fitted hat and then of course there's the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen pairs of pants total so 35 items let's get the math going on this realistically for this box i'm thinking probably around seven to eight hundred dollars obviously as always the jeans are going to fluctuate but i do jeans right at 25 bucks a pair some are going to be higher some you'll probably take offers around 22 20 bucks but generally you're looking around 25 on the brands that we pull because that's what we list at usually uh the hat i'm just going to say 20 shoes 20 the bras are 20 each the the fleece jackets you should be able to get at least 30 each for the columbia and maybe a little more for that north face again this i would list probably at like 35 with offers and don't go lower than 30 based off of what they're selling for and then everything in this pile i'm going to say uh realistically probably 20 bucks you could probably get 25 for the jump man but probably just to be on the safe side 20 bucks and then the emmet jersey once it's cleaned once i get the the oxy bath and get this nice looking for you guys that should be uh decent money probably about 35 40 you could probably do more because i mean that's freaking emmett smith that's the only cowboy other than deon sanders that anybody ever cared about because nobody liked troy aikman i don't even care who you are that's the video that box is going to be for sale at the end again we'll keep cranking them out we're going to get the listing our stuff pulling orders this is a busy day for us like share subscribe and we will keep this Ruben. I promise next time I'm gonna put on a hat. I don't like showing y'all this much forehead. I think you guys can read my mind and I don't like it. See you on the next one. Ow.